Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to check out the installation steps for installing WAMP stack on Windows. So WAMP is uh, an acronym for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. And uh, if you're a Linux user, then it's possible for you to install the Apache server, MySQL database and PHP the language easily through the LAMP stack. And, uh, you know, at the moment I have Windows installed, so I'm not going to discuss the installation steps for uh, Linux right now, but maybe if I get some requests, I'll, you know, post a tutorial on how to install uh, the LAMP stack on uh, Ubuntu, say, right? So the first thing that you need to do is uh, open your web browser and make a Google search for WAMP server, right? And uh, follow the WAMP server site and uh, you might have to scroll down a bit or, oh no, it's the first link that pops on the screen and uh, click on that and then click on start using WAMP server and uh, select the set of file that's uh, appropriate for you. So if you're a 32 bit user, then select the 32 bit file, if you're a 64 bit uh, user, then select the 64 bit file. And uh, when you click on that, you'll have to click uh, again once on uh, download directly. And I'll do that. And then you will be redirected to SourceForge website and uh, your download will begin in five seconds. And I already have the set of files, so I'm not going to download it again. And uh, I'm going to cancel this download, but it's not a big file, about 41.5 MB in size. The size could be different, depends on, you know, what version you are downloading. And uh, this is what the set of file looks like. So this is the icon for WAM, and uh, you have to double click on it and uh, give it permission to run. And it's going to ask for your permission once again. You click on yes, then you click on next, and then accept the license uh, agreement. And uh, then, you know, the installation steps are fairly simple. There's not much that you have to do. Stick with the defaults I'd suggest. And uh, I already have the software installed on my system, so I'm not going to proceed with the installation. I'm going to cancel it. And uh, once you have finished installing, click on start, and then click on start WAMP server, right? And, uh, type that and press the enter key and uh, it's again going to ask for your permission to run click on yes and then you'll see something like uh, you know this this green square icon that you see you know if it is green then it means the server is online and to test whether the installation was completed successfully or not go to your browser and in the url box type in localhost and press the enter key so when you do that, you'll see this page and uh, this is the index page for uh, WAMP and uh, apart from Apache, MySQL and uh, PHP, the WAMP stack also has another important software and that's called PHP MyAdmin. So if you will scroll down on this page at the bottom left corner, you'll see uh, the text PHP MyAdmin. When you click on the link, you know, this is what PHP MyAdmin looks like and it's a very, very powerful tool. You know, earlier there used to be no GUI option along with MySQL. Now they have the MySQL workbench. So people prefer using that, not PHP MyAdmin. But about seven, eight years ago when the workbench wasn't there, this was the, you know, only GUI option to use for MySQL. And uh, a lot of people are uh, familiar with this. And, uh, you know, it's very important for you to get comfortable using this software. And it's, it's very easy. And we're going to check out this software too uh, later in this series. So, you know, another thing that you can do is there's going to be uh, a function here called PHP info. You know, when you click on that, you can also, by the way, check out the documentation for Apache and you can check out the uh, documentation for PHP as well. And in the same column as you found the PHP my admin, there is this function PHP info. And when you click on it, this is what you see. So you see all the information about your installation, you know, the PHP version, the system on which it's installed and uh, everything that you need to know about uh, PHP, you know, the packages that have been installed and uh, lots of other information, which we probably won't be able to understand right now, but uh, later on, we're going to use a lot of these functions and packages, right? So that's it for this tutorial. We're going to uh, check out, you know, some features of PHP. We're going to, you know, actually make our first PHP script file in the next tutorial. And uh, we're going to try to do this using a script file that we make. So that's going to be interesting. And I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. Uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.